Hello and a welcome gorgeous Gemini to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You have clicked on this reading for a reason. There is a message in here for you from Spirit. So your first card is about faith. So you may need to have a little bit more faith in yourself in a situation this week or have faith that a situation, a circumstance that's been troubling you, that's been on your mind will work out in the best way. And this card says, I'm confident I will achieve my goals. I live in the present and have faith in the future. I firmly believe in my value within the universe. So having faith in yourself or in a situation, knowing that God has your back, the universe has your back, is vital this week. So keep the faith, even if you do not truly believe it in your core or circumstances seem to be out of control or chaotic in some way or someone seems to be working against you, keep your faith. It's time to release what doesn't serve you. And there is something you're holding on to, Gemini, that you need to release. I stop fighting my fears and the hardships of life. I control my thoughts, live in the present moment, and accept each stage of life. I work on what I have power over and put into God's hands what I can't change. So it's about releasing what you cannot change. Perhaps there is something that you wish you could change it, but you can't. Maybe something that has been done to you or said to you by a person or maybe something that you have done or said. But whatever this is, um, it's outside of your control. And so releasing that is going to serve you really well. I trust that everything will work out for the best. And that goes back to the first card here, the message of faith, knowing that things are going to work out for the best for you because they are and spirit is, is, uh, is encouraging you to think more positively about a situation because spirit is working for you in this difficult situation. So we have the card of awareness here. You're going to become more aware of your own feelings, your own emotions, how you really feel about someone or a situation is going to become very clear. I'm also seeing that someone is going to have an awareness about what they truly desire, what they want, um, what is really going to make you happy because I do see you're going to decide on something and I see you as immensely happy with this choice or decision or the changes that come from this awareness. I open my consciousness to my true self. I understand that I am here to grow, to free myself from conflict and to discover who I really am. Today I release illusion and the limitations of the material world in order to elevate my being towards the eternal light. I grew stronger and stronger as I explore the wonderful being that I am. And we have the card of appreciation. I am grateful for the abundance in my life. So having that grateful heart for the blessings that you have is going to bring in more blessings for you. So open your heart to appreciation, Gemini, and get ready for a big win. Greater abundance will flow to you because of this appreciation and gratitude. As I direct my thoughts towards all that is wonderful in my life or in my world, my troubles and worries lighten. With a full heart, I appreciate all that I have. Today, I accept what is, as it is, and choose to be satisfied. I express my loving thanks to the universe for the wealth that is mine. So it's a reminder to not fall into a mindset of lack or a mindset of negativity. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. So we have an energy that needs to be cleansed, cleared, 
a detoxification, space clearing. You may be clearing out or decluttering your personal space or your workspace. This can also resonate in terms of your aura, your energy, people in your life and circumstances that may need clearing away. So you can allow the newness, the brightness of newness to come into your life. You are an earth warrior, so you have been through some trials and tribulations recently. Definitely, when this card shows up, it means that you are in the warrior mindset or you've been through some troubles and you've had to put on that hat. You've had to put on that suit. You've, you've had to um, protect yourself or you've had to go after something and it's in that warrior energy. So spirit is aware of that and you are going to overcome if you still feel like you are battling something. The spirit saying it's grounded, it's it's real. There's a real truth to what you're doing. There's a real honesty to it. And that's going to be rewarded, Gemini. Things are going to come through in a real organic way, in a real manifested way. So there's an abundance that will come through materially or with your health, with your well-being, in a real way. Um, you will see it. Love beyond death. There is someone in spirit that is close to you, that is trying to bring through a message perhaps or um, guidance, uh, something, maybe love, um, unconditional love, but um, know that a message from a loved one is, um, is coming through this week. And just because it's the ending of a relationship or a situation, something is finalized or something's coming to an end you will love beyond this your heart will open again there is a a wonderful energy of um you you knowing and and fully understanding that there is um positive things to come and that your heart is uh, just waiting to open up to these possibilities a treasure of the soul so there is a there is a desire in your heart. There's a need to express yourself or your gifts from your soul, from your, from your heart. So you may be discovering what these gifts are in the week ahead. Uh, you may have discovered them recently, but there's definitely soul development that's happening or has happened recently um, in your life. And, you know, you're progressing forward, even if it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like you're going very fast or moving forward or changing in a fast way. In fact, it is happening and you you are developing your you're in a growth phase or you're moving into um, a phase of abundance and relationship harmony. So if you have a relationship that's been tumultuous, if it's been difficult, challenging, know that at least within yourself, there's going to be an energy of um, peace and calm and ease within yourself. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So there may even be a resolution coming together once again, a unity. And there is prosperity. This is the big win in your life. Prosperity, which may come through in terms of wealth, health, well-being, relationships that are supportive. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So remain positive about your, your expectations and about uh, your material needs because prosperity is just around the corner for you. And a healthy lifestyle is uh, something you may be focused on, something that is important to you or something that will become a, important to you. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. So, yes, there's definitely something coming through prosperity in terms of your health and your lifestyle and your well-being. Having that open heart and that compassion, um, this I feel is part of your gift that you're discovering and um, sharing with the world in some way now or soon you will be. Soften your heart with respect to this situation. And all the people involved, including yourself. So that may be the relationship difficulty here. 
conflicts, arguments, difficulty, soften your heart with respect to this situation and everyone involved. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. You have a greater strength than you realize. So we have the snake here. You've come up against a difficulty, someone, a snake in the grass, someone that you didn't think would betray you or be nasty to you or hold a grudge or, you know, they don't have your best interests. They come out and bite you with what they say sometimes. You know who this person is, Gemini. Um, even though that may be happening or may happen this week, um, or has happened recently, you are not going to falter. You actually have strength. And I'm also seeing you have people backing you up or you have evidence backing you up or you have your own knowledge of the situation that's backing you. There's something you have support in some way, um, which is wonderful. The Queen of Swords. You've been through this before. You're, you have been through a certain situation or you know your your mind is in a certain place or your emotions are in a certain way at the moment you have been through this before and so you can draw on the wisdom of your past experiences it could be linked into this snake energy this person that you're dealing with the two of wands is a great partnership it means that there's going to be a positive forward momentum in a relationship a union a contract we're hand in hand with someone hand in hand with someone and the star this is Aquarius as card so you may have an Aquarius in your life perhaps and the star represents your hope so we have faith having faith and being hopeful um, that seems to be a very strong message in this read this is also a destiny card so finding the treasure of your soul so this is a life purpose energy the gifts that you can give to the world through your life purpose uh, that's the destiny here that i'm seeing that someone is discovering at the moment the ace of pentacles so you're systematically rebuilding or building a solid foundation that has the strength to go the distance And the Knight of Swords, someone's going to communicate with you, reach out to you this week, maybe unexpected, um, but there is definitely some important news that you will hear. Things may also start to move quite fast for you in a certain area of life. So you'll have a few conversations or things will start to get moving in a, in a way that is a lot quicker than how it has been. So let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your heart, with your intuition and see if this resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, have a wonderful week, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.